In this video, we're going to be showing off a few of the effects that you can use in your sprouts. First, we'll go to the Effects and Animation panel and go to the Add an Effect menu. First off, we're going to use the Bevel effect. Bevel gives an object depth by modifying the edges of the object, which make it appear 3D. You can change the distance or size of a bevel, the amount of blur on the bevel, and the color of the highlight and shadow. The next effect on the list is Blur, and Blur does exactly what you think it would. It softens and diffuses the edges of an object and the object itself. If you turn Blur up to the highest setting, it will make the object almost disappear. Next we're going to try the Brightness effect. Brightness adds white to the color of the object. This simply changes the brightness of the object. Next we're going to have a look at the glow effect. This adds a nice glowing border to the object. The glow effect on an object can be adjusted in size, as well as opacity, color, and strength. Now we're going to try the hue effect. Hue is the opposite of brightness in that it adds black to the color of the object. The result changes the look. Finally, we have the shadow effect. This gives the object a shadow that appears behind it. The size of the blur, distance the shadow is from the object, the angle of the shadow, the opacity, and the color can all be modified. It is possible to add multiple effects to this object. In this example, we're going to be using the shadow and the blur effect. The last thing to note is the few different animation options we can use in conjunction with our effects. The default state is the option that keeps the effect present at all times, but I'm selecting mouse over, which only shows the effect when the mouse point is hovering over the object. So I'm setting up a shadow, and then I'll click on preview to see how it works. As you can see, when the mouse goes over the object, the shadow effect appears. The next one I'm going to try here is mouse down, which shows the effect when you've clicked down on the object. Right now I'm setting up the mouse down effect to appear in addition to the mouse over effect. So I'm setting up a blur, and I go to preview. There you can see our mouse over effect, 